Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paz, and in this video, I'm gonna take a keyword that I found, and I'm gonna create it, uh, an actual crossword puzzle product that uh, you and I can sell on Amazon KDP. So make sure you watch this video in its entirety and learn how to create these types of products really fast and easily. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have a really cool niche that I found on my last video. I have a link to it down below. Um, crossword puzzle for dog lovers. As we see, as we can see here, the result count is under a thousand, which is great news. It's only a little bit over, uh, only a little bit over a hundred. And I can see here that if I scroll down, we have all of these BSR, so all of these different uh, products that are related um, around pets and dogs and crosswords and search words are selling currently. Okay, and the top one is an exact match with um, 10, uh, 10 reviews and it's selling. It's um, the BSR score is 726,106, okay, which is really cool, okay? And the next results are all sponsored and then we get into more dog-related, pet-related crossword puzzles. Again, a viable niche, only uh, 106 results. Now I'm gonna show you how to create this, okay? So I'm gonna go to the first, uh, first thing I always do is Go to Google and, and put up or type in facts. Like I want, let's say it's, I'm doing something about war, World War II, World War I. I'm gonna put in World War I facts. Okay, 100 uh, World War I facts. In this example, I have 100 uh, dog breed facts. I open up the first link that I get here and I'm gonna use this as my information source for my crossword puzzle. I'm also gonna open up my word puzzle generator. Okay, I recommend you get this. I have information down below along with my custom bonuses. You're gonna click create crossword. You're gonna put in the name of your project, put in dog, click create, and then click view, okay? It wants you to upload a text file with all the information so that, so that can format it and turn it into a crossword puzzle. Um, I already opened up a uh, text file right here. Okay, if I go to the top here, you can see title, colon, crossword, crosswords for dog lovers one. As you can see here, I have five different clues and answers. Okay, so you can see here the first one, Affin Pincher is known as the monkey dog. It's right, I took that right out of here. Affin Pincher is also known as a monkey dog, okay? And I went down the line and I created uh, uh, four more. Snuppy, first clone dog in history, seven, Government of Japan designated seven dog breeds. Uh, Aradella, the king of terriers. Akita, Helen Keller brought this dog breed over from Japan to the US. And I went over, I did title for a crossword dog lovers page two. And I put in five more different clues and answers. I'm gonna do one page with you here to show you how it's done, how easy it is, okay? So I went to number 12 here, the sight hound of the free people. I'm gonna take this copy it, I'm gonna drop it right under um, title crossword for dog lovers three. I'm gonna take this word, Azawaka, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, and I'm gonna add it right in here. Uh, that's not the correct place. Go right in here and put the semicolon, okay? So the semicolon, the software tool recognizes semicolon as a, as a spot to separate the answer from the clue and to create your crossword grid. More on that later, okay? That's, so, that's, so that's question number one, or I should say clue number one, an answer. Let's go to, um, let me see. Let's go to another one here. Border Terrier. Okay, let's, let's go to Boxers. Use their, okay, so here we have, use their front paws when fighting. I'm gonna put that in here, that's a really cool um, piece of trivia. And the answer is boxers. Boxers is a dog breed. So we're gonna keep that in there. Let me, uh, bull mastiff. Okay. Uh, catch, use to catch and hold poachers. Wow, I didn't know that. A bull mastiff, check that out. Bread to catch and hold poachers, and that is a bull mastiff. I'm learning something every day, right? Aren't we all? 
put that in there. And again, semicolon, to, so that software understands what to do with it. Okay, uh, Canon dog, not native to Israel. A dog native to Israel. Put that in there. I'm gonna drop that right in here. Put in the semicolon. And what's the name of that dog? Uh, can, I think that's correct. Let me, let me double check. Let me double check. Yes, Canon. Okay. Let's go down the line here. Uh, let's see. Chihuahua. Some interesting facts about Chihuahua. Okay. Born with soft spots on their heads. I like that. I'll put that in there. Uh, like that. Drop it in there. Born with a soft spot on it on their heads, and take this word Chihuahua. Okay, like that, and drop it in there. Semicolon. Now I'm gonna save this. Okay, as such, and I'm gonna upload it to this tool here. Put an upload dog, and here we have it. Automatically, the words puzzle generator created a three page crossword book. Now, as you can see, dog lovers page four, five, and six, and so on. You want at least 30 pages, uh, between 24 and 40 pages. You don't want to go over 40. You don't want to create a book over 100 pages. Trust me, you're going to get bad reviews. Anyways, um, you know, I just showed you how to do it. You fill in your notepad or a, a CSV file. With the, uh, with the related information, you separate it with semicolons, and within this tool, if I don't like, for some reason, I don't like the grid, I think it's you know, weird looking, I can just hit the refresh button, and it's gonna refresh the grid for me, okay? As you can see, page one, I have first clone dog in history, it's a Snuppy, I believe that was the name. Um, also, you can use the universal controls here and change the size of the grid. So let's say I want the grid to be a little bit bigger, Let's go with uh, 30. See, now the grid just automatically became bigger for all of the different pages, okay? Same thing with the font size. If you wanna add color, again, I don't recommend you add color for a Amazon KDP book if you're doing crosswords. If you're selling this as a printable, by all means, use color. But when it comes to your Amazon KDP book, do not use color. If you wanna change up the font, I love Poppins, so I'm gonna leave it at Poppins. And here we have also a trim size. You can create different uh, size books. Uh, if you want to create a pocket size crossword book, I know those sell, those sell as well. I like to stick out to 8.5 by 11, but that's me and that's what I sell online. So I hope you like this little tutorial guide on how to use on how to use Word Puzzle Generator. Make sure you check out the information down below to get Word Puzzle Generator along with my custom bonuses. Have a great day. Be good. Take care and be well.